everybody is wondering exactly how low this market can drop. And I think I've got some good reason to believe that $17,000 would be the absolute floor. And the reason for that is if we take a look at all of these big kind of drops that we've had in the market over these last couple of years, there is one recurring theme between them, which is that when we initiate these really big dumps, right? Let me show this to you right here on this chart. Um, you know, one of these really big dumps was right here. Another one of these really big dumps was right here. Um, you know, what we tend to get is that the dump initiates and it just goes really, really quickly, right? That That's kind of what we see is, you know, the dump starts and it's just relentless and it goes on and on and on and on until everybody is just completely burnt. Um, and, and that's how the market likes to do these kind of things. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's quite rare. I mean, it's probably like once every year, maybe just a little bit less than that even, um, or, or around about there, you know, obviously the last time that we had something like this was over here where the market, you know, initiated a dump and it just kept dumping and dumping and dumping. And this is just Bitcoin being Bitcoin. You know, a lot of people are looking at this right now thinking what the fuck's going on, but actually this is really normal. This is totally normal for Bitcoin. And uh, I mean, beyond the obvious things of, you know, just showing you how many times this has happened in the past. I mean, this is like the most typical characteristic of Bitcoin. Look at these dumps. I mean, you know, you might not be able to get a sense of appreciation for how crazy this drop was, but this was within two months, dropping by minus 66%, uh, you know, from $470 down to 150. Um, you know, these kind of hugely catastrophic dumps are very, very common. They tend to come quickly. They don't tend to have any relief. And I'm not saying that we're in one of them right now, but if we are, and obviously a lot of people do think we are, uh, I've got some really good reason to believe that the market might be able to keep itself a little bit higher. And that is obviously very exciting. Now, before I get into that, uh, I just want to make a quick note that obviously this market is super volatile right now. There's so much going on uh, and I'm trading all of it on Bybit. So um, if you want to be trading on the same place that I'm using, this is the only place I trust to be trading at a time like this, just because of how volatile the market is, how dangerous things can be, the instability of exchanges, safety, liquidity, uh, security, all of those very, very important things that people just don't really think about until it becomes a problem. You know, you had these things with Luna, for example, where people were heavily invested in coins that, you know, they perhaps should have been a little bit less invested into. They should have diversified a, a little bit. Look, you've seen this blow up in everyone's face if, if they were holding Luna um, just over the last 24 hours. Please don't let your exchange be one of those problems. I'm not saying to only use Bybit because of that, but obviously this is my preferred. There's so many out there. Just spread your eggs out into different baskets uh, is, is, is my take. And if you want to jump inside, by the way, Luna is tradable here on Bybit. Uh, they've got all the pairs for Luna right here, even on leverage, which is very exciting. Uh, so if you want to check them out, link in the description, you're going to get a bonus. Uh, when you make your first deposit, you're going to get some free cash. Uh, but what I want to um, draw to your attention, and, and by the way, this sign up, it takes like 30 seconds, you would be done, you know, since if, if you started when I started talking about it, you'd already be done now. Uh, but you know, what I do want to focus your attention on right here is, you know, the, the percentage drops that we tend to get when, you know, these big, big catastrophic dumps are initiated, right? And what we have had right here, if we kind of measure this down from uh, the the high to the low, uh, was a minus sixty three percent. You know, on this occasion right here, uh, what we had was a minus fifty one percent crash to the downside. There's actually one more which I've forgotten, uh, so bear with me as I pull that up because this is also quite significant. Uh, and, and, you know, generally what we would see is that these dumps, they happen fairly quickly uh, and, and then they, uh, yeah, they end up, uh, you know, being quite harmful. Actually, that the, the, these are the only two ones that I want to focus your attention on for now. Uh, the final one is actually just up here, uh, which is, you know, somewhat similar, a minus 50% dump. And the reason I'm showing you this is that tells us that, you know, when we get these crazy dumps, right, that start from a high, and in this case, our high that it started from was here at $47,000. This is kind kind of where the bloodbath really initiated. This was the last rally that we had until this bloodbath began. Uh, you know, if we measure this and take a look at exactly how much we've dropped, and by the way, I'm using a different chart right now. This is the BLX chart, Brave New Coin Liquid Index. Uh, the real price of Bitcoin is right here. So uh, BLX is showing as a price of about 31,000. The real price is about 29,000. So uh, this is off by quite a lot, actually. It's a around a 6% discrepancy, uh, but you'll still understand the point. Uh, and, and the reason I'm using this chart is because the other charts don't have as much price history 
going back. But in any case, if we take a look at the dump that we've seen so far, um, you know, down to about $29,000, let, let's just say it's already down by about 40%. And that still doesn't mean that it's actually, um, you know, fulfilling the kind of, you know, if, if we're generally kind of crashing between 50 to 52 to 63%, um, which is what we had the previous three times that we had these, you know, what I'm calling relentless bloodbath sell-offs, uh, you know, well, we haven't quite hit that yet. But if we do take the worst case scenario, which was from the uh, March coronavirus market crash of 2020, obviously, again, from this high down to the absolute low that we set, which was right here, uh, that was a minus 62, 63% correction. Um, you know, and if we go ahead and, uh, and try and print that on this chart to see where that puts us, uh, you know, that is a pretty clear price target of let me just trace this down bam right there 17 well in this case it's eighteen thousand dollars so roughly thereabouts um showing us that you know look if, if we're about to have a crash which was as bad right this is this is the key thing that i really want you guys to get right now is that if we're about to have a crash which is as bad as what happened in march 2020 which is to say that the whole fucking world is panicking about a pandemic where people are, because of all the fake media that was out there, just dropping dead on the floor because of a flu. Um, you know, and everyone was really scared and no one really understood what was going on and the economies were shutting down and people were going into lockdown and the West has never dealt with a pandemic like this at this scale within our generations. Uh, you know, it, it, it triggered that level of fear for Bitcoin. Um, th the question is, are we going to see that level of fear now? Or is it going to be less or is it going to be more? Uh, you know, me personally, if I look at what's going on now, uh, this is more of like an implosion in the market. This is the S&P 500 in a lot of weakness, uh, you know, really still far away from its support levels. I mean, it, it's it's just in a bad, bad place, in my opinion. Uh, and obviously the dollar uh, shooting up. It, it is at a, um, you know, five, six year high. You know, it hasn't been this high for a very very long time um yeah i mean well actually let, let's just go back and check when was the last time the dollar was this high this is this is back in 02 2002 um is, is is when we saw the dollar index around these levels so we are literally going back 20 years um that's my age wow that puts things into perspective and uh, <laughs> although I am 21 this year, um, and and so you know that tells me a little something about how uh, you know we are for sure in in some sort of you know exceptional time you know where, where things can definitely get a lot worse. But it, it's 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 things you know these are things that are at play which we were kind of expecting. You know I mean uh, global instability, the dollar getting weaker, but the dollar gaining strength against other currencies, which is what the dollar index represents, and so on and so forth. These are not things that just come out of thin air like a pandemic that looks like it's going to kill everybody and their grandparents. That that's that's not what we're looking at right now. And because of that, I just don't think that you know we're in a situation where you know such a horrific response to the market is justified. Uh, and because of that, by placing this as my worst case scenario, I'm actually not too worried about Bitcoin. Um, you know, the thing that I I really want you guys to bear in mind, and obviously this is hard to keep in mind right now, but, you know, just keep in mind how, you know, the natural flow of these markets is. I mean, we, we had a reading of, of 12. I mean, this is going to update in the next eight minutes, and I'm probably still going to be live uh, making this video when that happens. But, um, you know, the thing is, is obviously... Um, you know, with people being so fearful and all these other factors at play in the market, uh, you know, I think it's totally reasonable to expect that, you know, people are going to be very scared as we're potentially collapsing down. But we have so much of a floor around that 20K region. Uh, and, and one of the key ways that I can articulate that and, and, and convey that to you guys is just showing you that, look, when things were really bad back in March of 2020, it still wasn't that bad. You know, like it's still only dropped by by 63 percent and and by the way just just so we're being fair about this um you know I, i'm talking about the drop but i also want to talk about how quickly the market recovered um you know it, it it recovered that whole drop pretty much within 60 days and look i know i mean the, the drop happened much faster than that the drop happened in about 30 days so it took double the time to recover it but i mean you know you, we experienced a nice rally afterwards you know i mean it was it was worth the wait and um and, and i absolutely think that we could be looking at something similar right now because you know the market in 2020, it didn't crash because it was changed. You know, it didn't, it didn't it didn't crash because it was a weak market. It didn't crash because the technology was bad. It didn't crash because it was hacked or anything like that. It was the same case over here. I mean, this is just emotions and, and so on being flushed out. That's what I'm seeing right now in this market, even if things get really, really bad. And that's telling me that the absolute floor is $17,000. Now, I know there's a lot of price predictions saying that Bitcoin can go far lower. You know, if the dollar actually is going to get a big breakout from here, and obviously it's on the cusp. And, and by the way, 
This to me is so hard to believe. I just don't see the dollar continuing to rise up. I know there's the dollar milkshake theory and I'm definitely paying attention to that. Um, you know, I'm trying to get the pioneer of that theory. His name is Brent Johnson. I'm trying to get him on this YouTube channel so I can interview him for you guys. I was talking about that in the previous live stream. And if you didn't manage to catch that, then make sure you are smashing up the likes and staying subscribed to this YouTube channel because otherwise you would be missing out on all of that content. But I'm trying to get Brent Johnson on this YouTube channel so I can talk to him about the dollar milkshake theory. And the thing is, even if that does happen, I just, I really struggle to see the dollar, uh, you know, rise back up to basically you know some of the, some of the areas that it was in in the last century you know in in the 1900s 1900s that, that's a long time ago for me well i wasn't alive um <laughs> and and i i just don't see that happening to me that would be quite unprecedented especially when you consider the longer term trend if we look at this on the monthly time frame the dollar has been steadily trending down on this dollar index for decades upon decades upon decades going back to the 1960s right and so for that to just suddenly change now under biden you know what like of, of all people to me uh i i just don't really see that happening uh and and so you know and, and that's one of the main ideas that people are using when they're saying you know bitcoin might fall far below 18 maybe we're going down to eight thousand dollars and so on and those are price predictions which are worth talking about you know because you guys know me uh you know i'd like to stay very level-headed i'm bullish on this market clearly i i'm 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 a buyer at these levels i mean these are phenomenal I haven't bought yet. I haven't bought yet. I said I would be a buyer at 37, uh, but I told you guys I'm still waiting for more. And I've just continued to see signs that tell me, you know what, waiting a little bit longer might make sense. I feel like that's coming to an end now, even if the price does drop down to 21,000, for example, or 18,000, for example. Uh, I just think that the probability of it's shooting back up, uh, you know, far, far beyond its current all time high at $69,000 is so likely that, you know, it doesn't really matter if I manage to secure an entry at 20,000 or 28,000, you know, that's kind of, that's my take there, you know, I mean, that, that, that little difference isn't actually going to be a big deal, uh, broadly speaking, just from what I'm seeing uh, with these charts right now. And I think that is, you know, somewhat important to mention. And, and this is the thing is, is like I'm saying, I mean, again, um, you know, a lot of the people talking about, you know, very, very crazy, very low price predictions for Bitcoin. Uh, I, I'm just not sure. I really do question, you know, what kind of basis they have to be forming those kind of price predictions. I think a big part of it when YouTubers are talking about it is they literally just want to put out clickbait, which I totally understand. It's part of the game. You know, you got to play the game. But, um, you know, realistically, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't really think we're going to be looking at something like that. But here's what I am looking for. You know, I'm going to be looking at things like this in my YouTube channel, in the uh, in the comment section of my YouTube channel, comment sections of others on Reddit, on Twitter, on wherever on telegram uh to see the sentiment and you know what i'm really seeing is a lot of people are losing hope but people are still for example you know luna obviously crashing from you know over a hundred dollars down to below one dollar now uh, people are still interested in buying luna you know so there is still that bullish sentiment going on there if we look at longs and shorts as well um it's split down the middle right now ladies and gents i mean you know this is pretty evenly balanced people are still not that bearish. I mean, they're mostly neutral according to this. And so, uh, you know, it, it, it may be that there's still a little bit of, you know, flushing out that needs to be done right here with this market. But again, just moving back to what we're seeing with Bitcoin, uh, you know, on these longer term charts, to me, none of these things justify Bitcoin falling significantly below $17,000. And I think the, the main thing that I just want to rest my case on right here is the fact that, um, you know, we, we, we've had a, a, a genuinely, you know, horrific black swan event, which was, you know, what happened in 2020. And, it still didn't puncture the market lower than, you know, minus 63%. And, uh, and and so because of that, I just really struggled to see price targets like 15K, 11K, whatever. I mean, there, there's a bunch of numbers being thrown out. Um, I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to make separate videos on them. And if you're excited for that, do me a favor and smash up the likes and make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel as well. Tick the bell as well to make sure you don't miss out on this content. And by the way, I'm giving you guys a lot of free analysis around the clock in the Four Flies Gold Telegram channel right now. I've just posted a post in there, I don't know, like an hour ago as well covering one of the next trades that I want to take as well. And that is on an altcoin. It's not on Bitcoin. So uh, if you want to get the information about that, guys, it's super time sensitive and it's free. So if you like this stuff, uh, there's absolutely no reason to be in there. We're going to send you those updates right to your phone. Uh, so check it out with the first link in the description down below. And if you want to take things extra seriously, you really want to grab these markets by the balls uh, and, and, and see how I'm trading them, see how other VIP members uh, have been navigating the markets and so on. Uh, you know, then uh, then the steps to join VIP are uh, down here. Uh, once you follow the first step uh, with this red box, click on my name in this red box and then click on send message in this red box. Uh, and, and that'll give you, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the the direct chat with me where you can ask me absolutely anything you like and I'll get back to you with all the information about how you can get inside, how you can jump inside the Four Flies Academy course to learn everything I know about trading and analysis from A to Z and even phone calls with me for yearly members. We're running a 25% discount right now on 
everything, uh, which is huge because Bitcoin is down as well. And we price our stuff in Bitcoin. So you're getting a very, very big discount. Definitely do take advantage of that if you are interested uh in uh, in in elevating yourself and um and taking advantage of this volatility you know a lot of people have lost a lot of money um you know the question that i'd like to pose to you here is obviously you're going to learn a lot of stuff when you jump inside our vip group when you go through our trading academy when you go through the trade insane package when you have the phone calls with me there's just so many ways that you're going to learn things refine habits create habits kick out bad habits and so on and my question is is that going to cost you less than the money you've already lost or less than the money you might lose if you don't join and uh, and and it's i can't answer that for you but for over 1000 people that are in vip right now the answer is yes that's worth it so if you want to jump inside then again these are the steps right here uh but you know moving us back to uh you know the charts that we're seeing right now the thing is is yeah there is no support between you know now and here and so the thing that i do want you to keep in mind is that this this is almost more of like a um a time-based analysis and that you know if things do actually you know start getting a little bit bearish it can get very bearish very very quickly this doesn't this is quite independent of price we can drop 10k in a flash basically because you know from what i'm seeing there is no support on this chart at all until we get down to 20 and you know it very well could be that we get a little bit of a flash crash bearing in mind you know this crash down here this was a flash crash right i mean if we take a look at what happened right here um with this crash i mean you know if we look at this on the daily time frame um again measuring it from the uh, the very high um to the um to the to the daily close um on on the low of this trading well, on, on, on the close of this trading day um the market was only down by about 53 percent you know but um it, it's the wick that actually took us down by the by the next 10 percent or actually um you know the the wick at that time uh, accounted for a further 19 percent drop to the upside i'm sorry to the downside right and so it could very well be that you know if bitcoin is going to do something similar to that well then you know, we drop down, you know, perhaps to a level like this, down to about $22,000. Uh, this is where the candle closes. And then, bam, we just get a really quick wick uh, that recovers up immediately. And then, you know, it's a slower grind up. I mean, if, if that's, I, I'm, I'm just printing and actually I can do this for you very well. Uh, I, I, I just literally want to show you how this happened in the past. So uh, let me do this. Let me actually, um, I don't use this tool often, so I don't know where it is, but bear with me because you're going to be very glad that I am showing you this. Um, yeah, what I want to show you is this. I'm literally just going to take these candles, if I can click them, <laughs> uh, and I'm going to show you how you know this this uh, this could be playing out right now uh, just to help you visualize it you know this is a tool to you know kind of visualize what could be going on in the market doesn't mean it will happen of course nothing is guaranteed but uh, you know if we kind of overlay this chart onto what we were seeing before uh, you know we're, we're looking at something that is uh, yeah potentially a little bit like this um, Okay, this doesn't really account for the percentage change. <laughs> My bad, I didn't really, um, I didn't think that through. Uh, but, you know, I mean, you can you can start to get an idea of what this looks like. Let me just draw it from down here. You know, this is kind of uh, what, what, you know, so, some something to just help you visualize what we could potentially be looking at, uh, you know, because this is how it happened last time. Uh, I, I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but if we do follow exactly what happened last time, uh, then, then yeah, this this is what it would look like, and it just kind of helps you visualize, uh, you know, what's going on. You know, one of the key things that I learned as a trader reading books, and and by the way, uh, you know, as a trader, you never stop learning. I mean, if you're not reading books right now, if you're not studying, uh, you know, what's going on, if you're not inside of VIP and, and learning from all the resources we're giving you at a time like this, you're fucked. There, there's absolutely no question about it. Um, th there's no doubt in my mind you, you are going to be one of the losing traders you're gonna, or, or if you already are one, you're going to continue to be because uh, you're just not taking it seriously. You know, you have to stay a student of the market all the time. I'm just telling it to you how it is. Uh, you know, I'm sorry that I'm so blunt about it. I'm sorry that I don't really filter my speech. Uh, but, well, realistically, I'm not sorry because this is trading and if you can't take it and get the fuck off this YouTube channel, honestly, like if you can't hear me saying stuff like this to you, then you shouldn't be a trader. You need really thick skin to be a trader because you need to be able to watch yourself losing more than half of your money and be totally okay with it uh and and you know what you either are or you aren't and um and, and that's my take on this you know if, if it's not you i would rather you get offended by my comment uh but by, by, by my content and then you leave 
you know, because you're going to save yourself from more losses. That's just my take. If you appreciate that, do me a favor and smash up the likes. If you're new to the channel, you already know the deal. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, you know, this is a very, very important note. And it's just, you know, something that I want you guys to be ready to internalize. You know, can we drop below 17K? Absolutely. Yes, anything is possible. But uh, people are so bearish, too bearish. What is the fear and greed index saying? Uh, it's it's at 12. That's so strange. I don't think this is updating correctly. Uh, it might update again a little bit later. I cannot imagine that the fear and greed index is staying stable at 12 for extreme fear. I have to imagine that it's going to drop a lot lower. Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, just not not looking not looking the best. Um, I've got a lot more videos planned that I'm, I want to uh, put out just actually later today. Uh, the, the next ones are going to be about Luna. Uh, there's one that I want to make about with, with regards to Luna, uh, you know, about if it can recover. There's another one that I want to make a video about uh, showing you guys like what to do if, if, if you've lost a lot of money, like what I would do if I've lost a lot of money. Now, obviously, I have lost a lot of money, but I've only lost, uh, you know, what Bitcoin lost me, which is at this point minus 58%. That's actually quite a lot. Um, but I haven't lost any Bitcoin. In fact, I've gained a lot of Bitcoin because I'm sitting on cash. And, you know, so my, my overall Bitcoin portfolio is rising, which to me is a massive win. Um, one thing I definitely haven't experienced is the losses of the altcoin market. You know, I mean, if we take a look at uh, where the altcoin market has been, uh, obviously, it's been crashing down a lot harder than Bitcoin overall, right? I mean, if you take a look at um, all of the, the biggest losses, uh, you know, I mean, you have to go quite far down until you see Bitcoin. I mean, um, this is in the top 100. Uh, Bitcoin isn't anywhere here. Where is it? Bitcoin is all the way here. I mean, you have to scroll down more than half of the page, um, which basically shows you that all of these coins above Bitcoin have lost more value than Bitcoin right now, right? And so fortunately, I haven't experienced any of that because I take risk management very seriously. I've been around in these markets for a while and I've been preaching these things. Um, you know, you guys are going to remember uh, for example, Matic, I got, I was giving these warnings pretty early, uh, you know, so people didn't like it, but Matic was around over here. Uh, I think it was here, some, somewhere like right here where I was warning that Matic is probably going to, you know, crash massively as well. I remember one of my close friends, actually, one of my closest friends, um, you know, uh, him him and I were talking about it and he wasn't really buying what I was saying. Uh, and, and he ended up being right for a time. Everyone did for a time. But eventually reality catches up with the market. And, um, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is while Bitcoin is down 58 percent, Matic is down 77. And, um, and, and that's not that is not a, a further drop of 20%. You know, to, to put this in perspective, you know, Bitcoin dropped minus 58%. Um, you know, that, that would put Bitcoin, uh, you know, that, that would put Matic right here. Matic after that, after that, Matic dropped a further half. It dropped by a further 50%. So uh, this is not like an extra 20% drop. This is an extra half drop. Like it, it cut in half. Uh, beyond the loss that Bitcoin already suffered, right? So altcoin holders massively losing right now. But again, all of these things paint opportunities. All of these things paint really, really extreme emotions. If you're in it, you're probably not even going to be aware of it consciously, but that's why you've got me here uh, to talk about it. Hopefully calm ourselves down, level, level us out a little bit, and then tackle these markets and rip some fat, juicy gains in this space. Buy ourselves some Lambos, get those uh, yacht parties with the beautiful Russian models out in Dubai. Uh, and, and live a good life. That's uh, that, that's what we're aiming for. And this is how we're going to get it, ladies and gents, it is by staying level headed. So if you've enjoyed this video, you know exactly what to do. If you want to jump inside a VIP, there's the steps on the screen. If you want to trade on Bybit, which is the only place that I'm trading on, or if you just want some free money, check it out with the link in the description down below and make your first deposit in order to get your bonus on Bybit. Uh, once again, these are the steps for VIP first link in the description down below, then click on my name, then uh, send me a message. This is the only way to join. Don't search out my name, stuff like that. You're only going to find impersonators. They're just going to scam you. It's not worth the effort. Too many people have been scammed. Uh, it's all over the YouTube comment sections as well. Scammers are going crazy. Uh, that's why uh, anytime I tell you guys to, to reach out to me, whether it's on my Twitter or my Instagram, whatever, only use the links in my bio because those are the only links that you know are legit because my YouTube channel is verified and you only want to use uh, platforms that are verified. By the way, this Four Flies Gold channel is also verified now. Um, so, you know, you, you really cannot possibly screw this up. Um, if you have any anything beyond basic, <laughs> you know, internet hygiene, this is hard to screw up. But um, there you go. If you have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Subscribe, tick, hit, hit the likes, subscribe, tick the bell to all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one very shortly later today. Bye-bye.